Alright guys, so back up and running and waiting for my feet to start up on your guys' side. So we're going to Swat Hilly, Swat Hilly. Oh, I did actually want to show you guys one other thing that I didn't have up before. So we're going to go on this one here, edit this. We're going to show you guys a big, big, big ass plane. It is hard to pilot, but that's perfectly fine. Shoot. Just went wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Go back to edit. Why am I going up here? Because this area here has more of it. Keep doing that. I gotta quit doing preview. I just gotta. I'm gonna texture it right away that way. I don't have to worry about it. Alright, so I am actually gonna spawn up the galaxy. US Air Force. Yeah, close. Now, um, I could do the B. Actually, I'm gonna do the B1 Lancer. Make a pilot. Alright, so I'm gonna show you guys the B1 Lancer first. And then over here, we'll put the galaxy. Now, the galaxy, that is a big, big plane. So we'll make it there. Hit OK. All right, so we're going to have to preview this. And once again, I'm going to actually go ahead and turn off all my um, AIs. Um, as you guys can see, the um, Galaxy has a lot of co-pilots here, and the B-1 Bomber does not. So we're going to go pilot them down, and we're going to enable that. Hey, did you get the mail today? Oh, nothing in it? Okay. All right, that's fine. I don't need to know my position because I'm on a run. Alright, that's fine too. Alright, so. There's the gaps. Now I'm going to hit enter to give you guys a rough estimate of how big this plane is. Um, that galaxy is larger than this plane here. Hence why I've got it in the bigger runway. So. We're going to go back in. Actually, I'm going to have it sit out. Uh, I should be able. To retract the wings.
Alright. Now that I've got it in fighter stance, we're going to turn to my GPS unit. It needs to be turned on because, oh, don't have a GPS unit inside, so let me keep that on. Uh, afterburners on, turn navigational lights on. We'll turn afterburners on once we're up in the air. Flaps, I will switch to lights on. And you're about to see why in a bit. We'll turn collision lights on. Manual we'll fire! Manual fire on. Um, make sure I can switch to the camera. Alright, so we'll go in first person view. And we're going to keep looking at my watch. There we go. So I'm going to go through now and show you guys the... Uh, oh, excuse me. The um, mission creator. So I can generate missions here by doing all these. Create a zone and all that. But I don't want to, so I'm going to close it. This is what I want. Set time. Here we go. So we're going to set time to, uh, let's do, to 21, 0-2. So we're going to confirm it. Now everything up on the other side of the screen should turn dark. Like that. Just like that. All right, so now we're going to close. Close it. Now I'm going to go back up. And as you guys can see, it is now nighttime. And just like that, I have now made it so my plane here can be seen. One way lights are there, which are nice. This is also why I have my um, GPS on, so that way I can find this easier. So we're going to go start her up. So engine's on. Now, I do not want to eject or do anything else like that. So, we're going to turn the engines on. Now, as you guys can see in front of me on that small display, I've got my altimeter. Um, top side is my GPS on my right and my direction. It also tells me which, how fast this wind is going and which direction it's going. So, I am, yeah, here we go. So, we're going to go. Let's down once. And we're going to start building. Just like that, we're going to switch. Afterburners. Make sure my afterburners are on. Go into first person so you guys can see that. 
your life. Curtain, which is it. So now we're going to actually go and extend my rings, make them flatter. Oh, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. oh, I hit the water. Yeah, that's the dangers of flying near water. So, we're going to go ahead, restart the mission, and I'm going to run over to the other side. So, we're going to abort. Yes, save it. Let's continue. We're going to make it. Make it so that you guys can see the galaxy fly. Um, night flying, as you guys can see, is very fairly hard because <sighs> you can't see the water. Alright, so we're going to continue. That hit okay. So like I told you guys before. Whoa. No plane over there. All right. There, it's right there. Just went right off the map. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead. Yeah. Run the off of the two controls. All right, where am I? I want to go to the pilot's seat. There we go. This is what I want. Laps down for put down once. Lights on. There we go. Collision lights on. And then there's another light. Where is it? It's a manual plane. This plane is that plane that you guys have heard of, where it opens both ends. This is that plane. I'm going to actually set it so that you guys can see that when I open those ends up. And we're going to make it... Uh, six o'clock in the morning. Confirm. Now it's going to take some bit or some time here before it triggers. There we go. That's six o'clock, but I don't want that. 
I want three in the morning. It's too bright for what I know. Three in the morning is still dark, so let's go four in the morning. It's still dark. Okay, so let's confirm it. At five. Five is still too bright. Oh no, it's just morning time. Okay. So we're gonna go for four forty-five. Now that should be just the right amount of light that I want. There we go. <clears throat> what? Four. Really? So yeah, guys. If you guys are wondering about the whole Xbox system, yeah. Um. So as you guys can see. That's that. So we're going to actually go ahead and have you look at that while I'm doing all this. So we're going to open up the nose. Make sure the rear cargo door is going to open. And the nose. Awesome. Alright, so anyway, so if you guys heard that good, then you know what's going on right today or yesterday, depending on where you guys are. Um, but yeah, so that is the front end and the back end both opened up. So we're going to go ahead and close them up because I want to take off. So it's rear. I cannot take off while these opened. I am going to start up my engine. Alright, so now. This plane does need the full run, so we're gonna make sure to get my flaps out. Make sure the gears go up. Gears are up. Flaps are up. And we're going to fly. Uh, 
Now that we're at full speed, I can let it go naturally up on its own. These are its natural afterburner speeds. This fog's going to get it. Alright, so we're going to perform a crash landing at the safety level. So landing all the way, that flaps up all the way. Because this plane is so big, it's basically gonna just fall out of the sky. So, my task here is just to make sure it falls gracefully. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm fluttering it. Oh, a tree stopped us instantly. Holy cow. Alright, so anyways. Um, ugh. I'm gonna go back. Uh, edit. I'm saving those plans in. And then I'm gonna actually try something for you guys. Because I do got the majority of the plans for what it needs, we're gonna save it. I'm gonna go back out. Yes. We're gonna try this the airport. The only thing is, I don't have our couple items. Awesome. All right, so we're going to go ahead and I select that one. And it says I have it. So, now that I've got, so this is going to be the first time me going through the um, Altus Airport, so we'll have to see how this goes. I'm going to go ahead and try to be able to name all of these planes without having to look at them completely, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Yeah. So anyways, so um... To answer your question, I've been on... Um, Let's see, I've had Arma 3 when it was a Alpha, so I've had Arma 3 for a long time. Laser designator sounds okay, close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, um... 
Let's see, I have also have Arma... Oh, excuse me, I have, have Arma 2. I've got all the Arma 2s, the different versions. So, yeah. That did not sound good. Alrighty. Ooh, this is a big file. You can tell because I am flagging. Do you know what? <laughs> oh! It's lightning up out here. So we're going to drive there, because this is too far to drive. <sighs> oh, it didn't fully load. Gotcha. So these are all the choppers. I'm going to go right past the choppers because there's a plane that I'm interested in seeing. Let's see if it's there. I see for it. Oh, I'm gonna crash on I'm gonna crash into him. Oh wow, just snuck by there guys. So these are the heavy um, lifters, the C ones. Stuff. Now trigger. Yep, C one thirties is what we're looking at. I keep driving down this way because there is a plane that should be down here. I'm skidding. Oh wow, I burned some rubber there, guys. So those plants are going to be interesting to fly. Oh, 
we're going to go this way because it looks like planes do disappear here. And we're going to drive all the way down because there is a plan I want you guys to see. Alright guys, well it looks like all of you guys checked out, okay, well I'm going to end the clip here then and um, I'm going to explore this map a little bit more, so have a good one guys.